Welcome back, everybody. Dren608 Plays. We're playing Rogue Trader here by Alcat Games. Um, <coughs> we just got done with a fairly big battle. Took out a bunch of Dukari. Uh, I don't know what this says. Oh. Power of Xenos device controls traps in this area. Okay. I've uh, been through that already. Um, we need to level up, so... We're going to actually go finally into the exemplar level, which I have no idea what that means. Uh, an exemplar talent. No ranged weapons. New enemy damage by them. That might be something to give to Argenta. Character the ally gains 7 armor, 7 dodge, and 3 movement points until the end of combat. Does not stack. Contagion, critical velocity, by 5% of their dodge. Everyone deals an additional 2 damage for every cell between the character's current position and the spot where they started their turn. The distance is measured in a direct line, ignoring all terrain. Every second diagonal line counts too. That might be something for uh, Avalard. Okay. Just one single time against the closest enemy they can target with the same weapon if possible. Plus 10 bonus for every difficult to tear of the first killed enemy. 40% damage total. Okay. Armor by 3. Two additional action points. Ooh. Get that to my to my shooter the girl there. Ten percent of their maximum wounds. Less than twenty percent of wounds, they restore twenty percent of their maximum wounds. Full attention. Priority of target, grievous wounds. Know it all. Dodge, dodge reduction, critical hit chance, and critical damage, and parry chance. Wow. Okay. Boy, there's a lot of things here. Just full precision. Additional two times perception bonus percent damage. Dead eye shot benefits. Body hunters claim the bounty, master tacticians finish the job, assassins. Body hunters wild hunt. Okay. Let me the character gains four of those movements are out after the attack and allow the character to continue movement. Increase by three percent. Oh god, there's so many things. Psionic awakening? Oh, you can suddenly become an, <laughs> an unsanctioned psyker. Want to become a psyker late in the game? Here you go. Okay. Cute. Boy, right, there's some really good ones here. Okay, well, uh, for me, What stack of degraded defense for every six damage detectors dealt when an ally attacks that enemy? They deal additional damage equal to the degraded defense. Okay. That'd be kind of nice for me.
Fellowship bonus percent more damage and suffer less damage if multiple characters have this talent. The effect is not stacked. So I could be the flag bearer. That might be neat. Uh, Let's do additional damage. 20% of their maximum wounds for bonus. Man, I don't know. I really don't know what to take here. I'm... are further increased by toughness. Ten times the toughness bonus. And same way as basic wounds. Bonus to all resistant tests equal to five times their deflection. What's my deflection? I have zero deflection, so that wouldn't really... <laughs> that really wouldn't be worthwhile for me, now would it? <laughs> Uh, I really don't know what to take. I think I kind of like the flag bar. Everybody around me would deal 3 plus my fellowship bonus percent more damage. It would be like 7% more damage. <clears throat> and like... 9% less damage. Eh. Let's see, you get 2 times my intelligence bonus, which is the best, divided by 2. So it's like a 6 or a 7, so maybe like 5% bonus to armor, armor penetration, dodge, dodge reduction, critical hit chance, critical damage, and parry. Uh, I'll take it no at all. I'll take no at all for me. Uh, first tier archetype talent. Are there any that are recommended? Nothing's actually recommended. Um,. Officer's ability or a talent that grants temporary wounds that always armor is increased. Be vigilant. Always under the effect of officer's abilities. Gain a bonus to their weapon skill equal to 3 plus officer's fellowship. Focus. Bonus to their perception of resolve equal to 2 times officer's resolve divided by 2. The end of target's turn. Heroism. Combat by any character, the officer's next attack will cost zero AP. <coughs> That's nice. That's always nice. Wounds are no excuse. Get back in the fight, removes one fresh injury from the target, and heals the target for officer's willpower bonus. Right by two wounds for each condition removed by get back in the fight. Green fresh injuries, a minimum of officers' willpower bonus wounds is always healed, even if no conditions were removed. So if I do a get back in the fight, I can get people kind of healed for free. That's nice. This is always nice, too, because in my next... I get a heroic act on somebody, then my next attack will cost zero. So lets me attack twice. Forge Riddlers gain 10 bonus chance dodge reduction against any target they hit with a single target attack. Plus 4 deflection against burning effect and flame weapons. While wearing heavy armor, which I can't do right now because I can't wear heavy armor!
Uh, what else is their weapon skill? I like heroism. Range until the end of combat. This bonus does not stack itself with bonus granted by voice command, but does count as an officer ability effect for the purposes of other talent effects. Note the target of lasting impression does not count as having voice of command effect, only they gain bonuses to their characteristics. So, the bit that you get from the voice of command, you'd keep a half of it. Kind of like wounds are no excuse. They can do a get back in the fight. Gives them back some hits and things. But I usually don't use that very often. Uh, maybe we'll go with lasting impression. Because I do usually throw my voice of command around. And I'll let people keep some of the bonuses until the end. Okay, that's what we're going to do for me. Abelard. As the vanguard. Oh, they're not a vanguard. Go back. Not a, not here, I was thinking for him. What was that? There was. This is going to be for Argenta, eager for battle, I think. Um, what are you going to do here? Lethal threat's cool. There was something... Single shots... Twenty percent of the red rewards. Adding up his... Um, all effects that reduce the movement points and they gain toughness bonus I by two. Um, I do like his. I do like the peak condition for him. Bonus to their strength equal to twenty percent of their maximum wounds. Uh, so it'd be almost twenty. Percent, right? Is that what that would be? So you'd have twenty percent of their maximum wounds. So their strength would go up like by twenty, which would give him give him better damage when he's doing melee. Wasn't there? Eager for battle. That's going to be my girl. And it's applied before you tell them how much damage you calculate. Decisions, decisions, destroyer or 
peak condition. <laughs> I don't know, I think I kind of like Destroyer. See what kind of possible stack saves three good as damage, blah 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 blah. I think I like the Destroyer because it reduces their armor by 6%, and that's before they calculate. We'll go with Destroyer for him. And then we have to do one over here. Threatened areas, perfect timing. It's Blade Fury. Damage dealt, slash by plus one. One plus strength bonus divided by two. Damage for every enemy in the area of effect. That could be good for him. Defensive stance. Gains against attacks made by that target. Increased by ten times as two times the strength bonus percentage against enemies not armed with a melee weapon. Enrage! No. Petrus. <coughs> Five or more cells, so long charges, and he can get a lot of extra damage in. Attack their next warrior archetype. Cost one less. This helps too. Open engagement. Rigorous training. Oh, that's what I want. Charge and slash do not end the warrior's movement. So when he charges, he can still move afterwards. We're going to take rigorous training, definitely. Okay, you're let. You are, um, you are going to take. No, it was, what was that thing called? No. What was that thing called? Masterful something? Masterful precision? Masterful precision, because she's always taking that I shot. She gets two times her perception bonus percentage on damage. So she's going to take that. And then in here. Ten or higher, they gain one eight action point and ignore enemies' deflection. That sounds like a good thing to do. Precise attack on a target affected by and more exploits. Some exposure, joint offense. Operative with their ally, the enemy suffers one additional exploit. Sniper expertise, perfect spot, additionally grants the operative plus five, plus their perception bonus, armor penetration, against enemies that are seven cells away or farther. The start of a turn, uncanny sight. Ooh, that's nice. Throw an exploit on everybody, basically. That might be nice. It gives extra exploits out there for everybody to use. Um, but there was... This gives them an extra action point. 
An extra action point could make a difference on her being able to do something. We're going to go combat insight. Okay, she's done. I know what I'm doing with my girl here. She's going to take... Uh, what was it? Eager for battle. She gives her an extra two action points. On the first turn. That's what she's definitely going to do there. Uh, Demolition Engineer. Soldier's Demolition, instead of Intelligence, is used to determine the additional damage dealt with ranged area attacks. Deals 5% more damage for every 10 points in Demolition. So her grenades are going to do a lot more damage. Enough bullets for everyone. Five plus two times her agility bonus. Percent more damage to enemies that have not suffered damage from a soldier. This turn. Cover efficiency is increased. Critical damage is increased by one percent until the end of combat. Control shot costs one AP less to use. Mm. But I really think I don't know, I kinda like the demolition engineers. Her her grenades will do more damage. Additional damage dealt with ranged area attacks. I wonder if it has to be from a gun or it can be a grenade. Doesn't tell me. Integrity. While at full wounds, the soldier has plus 10 ballistic skill and 2 movement points. First hit of each burst attack deals additional damage equal to the weapon's current rate of fire. Cool. Point blank, all the soldier's area attacks. Okay. Um. What are we going to do here? What does this do? These don't really help me. I think we're going to go... Oh, after two kills. That makes her shoot better. We're going to go Swift Slaughter. Okay, she's done. Uh, my girl. She's... Secret for battle, no. Uh, if she does damage to a lot of people, that would give additional damage to the degraded on other people. Cataclysm do. New enemy damaged by them in this combat. Let's try Cataclysm. And then here... Uh, her next attack would cost zero. Mm. Uh... That's not bad. The resolve is increased. And we can also do some things to the warp. Uh,
dodge them. Only the effects of your power, it means you have armor reduced, under my protection. Natural allure. Veil of protection. Courses untraveled. Enemies moved by the navigator's power is open to the warp. Enemies affected by the navigator's power. Mastery of time. Whenever an ally in combat gains an extra turn, the navigator gains a stacking plus five bonus to willpower until the end of combat. It's not bad. Blood augury. Any source of warp damage, bonus damage, stacks for each hit. Flipped. Willpower. Um, having a resolve go up would be nice. Although I'm thinking. Costs one less, so she could do more. She does her voice of command. I think we're going to do that so that she can do more of her other things. Let's try that. Okay, she's done, and then you, my dear. Uh, I have no idea what to do with you. She uses. Increased by 5% of their dodge. What's her dodge? Her dodge is that. So 5% would be like increasing her critical by 5%. Okay. Deadly aim. It's death dealer. Should give her extra. She doesn't do single shots or dead eye shots. Ballistic skill bonus to the enemy's deflection. You can make earth. Puncture. Next melee attack. Ah. Uh. Over penetration. She does shoot a lot of bullets. Not sure that that's the best thing for her, though. I think we're going to probably go <sighs> She gives out an extra uh, finest hour You get four additional movement points and an extra 
action point. That's probably pretty good. Uh, I really don't know what to do with her. The firebrand? We'll try it. Let's see what firebrand does. And then here. Give them five temporary wounds. All resistance to equal to their willpower bonus. Take aim helps people. Plus five percent. Um. don't know. I don't know. Um, I think we're going to go with Steady to give throw us, uh, take aim out and they'll be able to shoot even more damage. Don't know if it matters or not, but that's what we're going to do. Okay, we got done with that and we're at 32 minutes, so that was just a leveling up because I had no idea what I was doing. So, uh, I'm going to put that in here. Um, if you like what you see, hit the thumbs up button. If you really like to see, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notify bell. Be notified. Upload videos under scheduled streams. And we will go and look at the rest of this. Looks like we have to go talk to this guy here. And then go off around these edges somehow. So, we'll go see what we can do here. Okay. There's like loot here, and then I have to talk to this guy somehow. That's what we'll do next time. All right? All right, I'm Dren608. Until we meet again, stay safe, and bye-bye.